Unicorn Story Time. My name is Clara. Today I'm going to read Keep Your Distance by Gail Herman, illustrated by Jerry Smith. I have a new baby sister named Sally. Sally smiles and laughs and kicks her legs. She's very cute. I have another sister too. Her name is Lucy and Lucy's not very cute. Now that Sally is here, Lucy and I share a room. My room, but Lucy thinks the room is hers. Lucy messes up my bed. She dresses her stuffed animals in my clothes. She sings the same song over and over and over again. And she always right there one inch away from me. One inch. Before I go to sleep, I try to think of the good things about Lucy. She lost some of my jokes. She likes urban contest. We have fun playing shadow games and telling scary stories. Hey, Lucy's not so bad. The next morning, I try to get dressed. It's not easy. I can't get to the closet. I can see in the mirror. I can't open the dresser drawer. She's always in my way. Every time I turn around, there's Lucy. I get a tape measure. I measure two feet. If you can't stay on your side of the room, I say, at least stay this far away from me. Don't come any closer. One foot equals 12 inches. Two feet equals 24 inches. Lucy doesn't come closer, but she's mad. She throws her stuff all over my side. Lucy, I say, I can't share this room with you anymore. I'm moving with Mom and Dad. Their room is across the hall. It's further away than two feet. It's one yard away. One yard equals three feet. One yard equals 36 inches. Ha ha, says Lucy. I'm coming with you, Jen. This is my house, too. So you can't stop me. Well, then I answer, I'm moving to Jack's house. Jack lives next door that's farther away than Mom and Dad's room. Six yards. I can walk there in one minute, I tell Lucy. Six yards equals 18 feet. Good, says Lucy. While you're gone, I'll read your favorite books. That Lucy Jack's house isn't far enough away from here. I'll move to Amy's, I say. Amy lives 20 blocks away, almost a mile. I can ride my bike there in about 10 minutes. One mile is equal 5,280 feet. That's fine, Jen, says Lucy. I'll stay here and play all these CDs. Hey, some of those are mine, I say. Amy's house isn't far enough away either. I'll move to Grandma's, I tell Lucy. Grandma lives in the next town. That's 10 miles away, but if I take the bus, I'll be there in half an hour. 10 miles equals 52,800 feet. See if I care, says Lucy. I'll just finish this triple chocolate fudge ice cream all by myself. Hey, I shout, let's have mine. I scoop out my share. So what if it's a little messy? Even Grandma's house is too close. I'll have to move farther away, much farther. <coughs> but where should I go? I grab a map. I'll move to the other side of the country, I say. That's about 3,000 miles from here. No problem. I'll just take a plane. 
3,000 miles equals 15,840,000 feet. Or maybe I'll go to a different country, I say. I'll, I can take a boat across the ocean. That's about 4,000 4, miles. 4,000 miles equal 21 million 120,000 feet. <clears throat> or maybe I'll go to a space school and take a rocket to the moon, I say. I'll be 240,000 miles away. 240,000 miles equal 1 billion 267 million 200,000 feet. You can't do all that, Lucy shouts. Yes, I can, I shout back even louder. No, yes, no, no, yes, yes. Wah, wah. Oh, no, oh. Baby Sally is crying. Girls, quiet down, says Mom. You woke up the baby. She looks around the room. Do you, so, do you, Lucy and I want a mess? What's going on here, asks Mom, when she steps next to me. There is not one inch between us. We look at each other. Then we smile. Nothing Lucy says. When it comes right down to it, Lucy and I are very close. I don't want to move anywhere. Not to the moon, not to Graham's, not even across the street. After all, sisters have to stick together. I hope you like this video. I hope you enjoy this video. Bye.